Happy Friday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for Friday, February 26th. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull it all together. And if you're born February 26th, we'll do your reading next. So if you pick card number one, you have the strength card, and it is a major arcana. Okay, so whatever's happening today, you have the strength to get through it. Okay, there can be a shift of energy, maybe... Um, you know, there's a sense of overthinking things. Maybe it's like uh, things that you expected or maybe things that you've been manifesting, for example, or been wanting. Um, they didn't turn out the way you thought they'd be. Um, maybe there's a little bit of surprise in someone's reaction or some situation um, today. Um, I just feel that, you know, give things, this is like the next maybe two, three days, give some, um, give some, Give some time to things because I think the energy will turn around, okay? So we are seeing that energy. For some, this is just sudden ending um, and just a sudden change, um, quick endings. Be careful of overthinking and watch your health and well-being too. If you pick card number two, you have the Hermit. Wow, two major arcanas today. So Friday is kind of, it's how day a day can make a difference, I swear. <laughs> Okay, so the hermit says maybe you're feeling that you're more alone, um, thinking things through. Maybe you have some ideas. You're not sure which way to go with it. You are on the right path. It's wisdom and intuition, okay? Um, I do pick up a Taurus energy here, too. There are some changes that may be coming through, and you may be making these changes, too. Just uh, maybe you feel some eerie type of changes coming. It's unsettling, and you're like, hmm, what is this? But don't allow any kind of negative ideas in that to come through. You're definitely on the right path here. Uh, being more to yourself, thinking things through, I do see that. Um, I also feel here, this is a time of, you, you may be like um, pulling at straws somehow. Like you're trying to make some kind of choice, some um, decisions, or you're like, okay, should I do it this way? Should I do this? So it's like, you're, and you're not sure. Maybe there's some offers, choices, um um, opportunities, whatever it is, and you're like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's the energy I'm picking up here as well, okay? If you picked card, well, all three major arcanas you have for card number three, the lover's card. Very interesting. I do feel for some of you, you have a, an important decision to make, whether this is a contract at work or business. Some people love their job. Or this is in the love life, there is some decision you're going to make, okay? It's time to make it. Um, you need a balance here, too, and it, and you need to take your power back somehow, okay? It's been a little bit too chaotic. It's time to um, see uh, or change your perspective, and I feel that you may be leaving or cutting someone out, so it's a time that you're just going to maybe cut a person or situation out of your life and because your perspectives have changed and it's enough is enough so to speak so you're going to make that choice and decision so i am picking up that energy as well okay so today's a really interesting uh read we have three major arcana so they're very important you have this uh when we pull it together we have the strength we have the hermit and we have the lover's card so there's a few areas here that we're looking at um you know this is the energy of you know, this could be news coming in, um, a lot of messages, all right, maybe we hear something, maybe we see the message, maybe we're waiting for something, we're waiting for someone's decision, whatever it is, I do feel that energy, um, if it's got to do work, um, maybe money you've given out, maybe you need your money back, oh, there is something there, okay, that maybe needs some more negotiations, um, uh, settlements, maybe there is a uh, timing uh, with money is a little off, or maybe you've been waiting for a call back somehow. So I'm waiting, uh, seeing that for a lot of you will be walking away from a situation. Okay, you're leaving something behind and it's going to be a little bit different for you. We're dealing with I feel it's like disappointments, disappointment in ourselves, disappointment in love, disappointment in someone, you know, there is that energy. Um, it's a time, t um, of, I seek, we're coming into some kind of endings and we are going to close some things up. We have the strength to, we have the wisdom to, we have the choices to do that. Um, we're moving, uh, forward somehow. We, you know, it's like we do dwell and then we continuously are moving forward. There's a void here. There's something inside us that's making us unhappy. 
Um, I pick up a Gemini energy too for today. Um, there is an energy here of no, take care of yourself first. Um, make sure that um, you take care of yourself and your needs and then other people's needs are okay. You know what I mean? That's one thing I'm seeing. You know, stand up for yourself if you have to. You have the strength to say no um, to anybody who wants to take away your peace, your time, or, you know, um, whatever it is, okay? I do feel here that there can't be something, there is something bright that comes out of this, though. I do feel that there will be some kind of, um, I don't know, a gathering or someone inv invites us to something, either an outing or some kind of event or a get-together, too. So I do see happiness coming through. It's just a passing phase. We all have these days, and it's amazing. Anyway, that is the reading for today, Friday, February 26th. I hope you have a wonderful day, and now we move on to fri Friday, I mean to February 26th birthday. Happy birthday if it's your birthday today or if you know someone born today. This is a very quick and general reading. This is your soul or your theme and your wish card. Let's see what your soul or your theme says. It is the Eight of Wands. Okay, Eight of Wands tells me that um, this is a year of maybe lots of travel, many messages coming in. Maybe you'll be more on um, social media this month of uh, this year too. So a lot of messages coming in and a lot of talks and a lot of ideas and a lot of thoughts maybe to move and travel. It can be a really quick moving solar year for you. There could be uh, significant things coming in, significant news. So pay attention to the messages, spiritual and otherwise. Um, this is a year to address any self-esteem issues. You have to have faith that things are going to work out for you. You have some um, financial blessings coming and spiritual blessings too, but you have to have faith. When it comes to work, career, and school, I do feel you're going to have to make a choice and plan, uh, plan something for the future. For some of you, you may have to move from one job or a location. Maybe your your job it moves location, so I'm seeing that energy too. Either way, there is uh, choices and decisions to make with uh, that area. When it comes to finances, um, make sure that you take care of any bills that have been lingering. Otherwise, there could be some litigations. You know, someone may take you to court, uh, credit card debt, whatever it is. I do see that. Taking your power back when it comes to finances is going to be very important. So if you have been neglecting them or someone else has been taking your finances, I would pay attention to it. So I do see that energy. Um, I do see for a lot of you a very, um, this could be a, a genius idea that can make you a lot of money. But get it copyrighted. That's one thing I'm seeing, okay? When it comes to love, if you are single, I do see a new beginning in love. I do see um, get on social media apps if you need. Communicate because I see new love coming in. If you are in a relationship, there is a renewal of love uh, or at least there is a new beginning. It's a refreshing energy. With all relationships, um, there is a um, new friends coming in, new um, interests, um, very happy energy. Um, anything there is, for, with anything, there is a new beginning. Okay. Emotional path there with love. Okay. Now your soul or your wish says queen of pentacles. What I feel here is you, um, have to really make this affirmation, whatever this wish is and nurture it. There is a sense of nurturing this and, um, making sure, you know, it's like a new baby. You get a new baby, you have to take care of it. You get a new puppy, you have to take care of it. Um, nurture this affirmation or wish. Okay. And it will, um, probably come when you least expect it. Don't assume or give up on anything because um, there is something on divine timing here. Some of you, it is karmic, so there can be a delay in here, okay? I do feel that there is a serious delay in it as well, but the wish should come to fruition, okay? The important numbers for your solar year is 2, 5, 1, 10, 8, and 16. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead for everyone else. A wonderful Friday and bye for now.